Hi, thanks for joining me today. So today's sequence is gonna be a short sequence to help you alleviate any stress. We'll start lying down and we're gonna go through a progressive muscle relaxation and then we'll do a tiny little bit of moving. So make your way down onto your back. And we'll take our Shavasana position to begin with. So letting the legs extend outwards, feet, it's a lot wider than the hips, as wide as the mat. Arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. And just lift the shoulders away from the mat, slide the shoulder blades down the back, and then closing down your eyes. And starting to connect to your breathing. Just feeling into the weight of the body. It's noticing the parts of the body that are in contact with the mat. The backs and sides of the leg, outsides of the feet, back of the pelvis, the middle and the upper back, and the shoulders and the outsides of the arms and the hands and the back of the head. And then noticing what's not in contact with the mat. They're building just a mental image of the whole body. And then let's bring the attention to your right hand clenching the right hand, so making a really tight fist, and then start to tense up the entire right arm, so forearm, upper arm, shoulder, so tensing it right up, taking an inhale, and then as you exhale, completely let it go. And then going to the left hand, making a fist with the left hand, tightening it up as tight as you can, left forearm, left upper arm, left shoulder, tense it up, tense it up, take an inhale, and then exhale to let it go. And then coming to the face, the sides of the head, the top of the head and the back of the head. Scrunching up the face and scrunch up the sides of the head as much as you can. So scrunching it up, scrunch it up, scrunch it up as tight as you can. Take an inhale and then exhale to let it go. And then we're going to take the face into the opposite direction. So open the mouth up as wide as you can. So opening it up as wide as you can. Take a big inhale and then exhale to release. Let's bring the focus to the front of the torso, the upper chest, the belly and the lower belly, tightening up the whole front of the torso. So just tighten it up, take an inhale and then exhale, release. And then the whole back of the torso, so the upper back the middle back and the lower back and the glutes. So tightening up the back of the torso as tight as you can, as tight as you can, take an inhale and then exhale, release. Bringing your focus to your right hip, the right thigh, back of the thigh, the right glute, knee, the whole right leg, the whole right foot, tensing up that whole right leg, taking an inhale and then exhale to release. And then the left hip, left thigh, left glute, the whole left leg, flexing the left foot, tighten it up, tense it up, take an inhale, and then exhale to release. So we're gonna go whole body now. So clenching the fists, tightening up the arms, tighten up the torso, scrunch up the face, the legs, take an inhale, whole body really, really tight and then exhale to let it go. So one more time, whole body. Clenching the fist, tightening up the arms, the shoulders, the legs, the glutes, the tummy, the face, scrunch up the whole face, take an inhale, and then exhale to release. Taking a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just completely letting go. It's 
just continuing with the breathing in and out through the nose. Just gently opening up the eyes, bending the knees up so the feet are hip distance apart and then bring the right knee in towards the chest, interlace the fingers around the front of that right shin bone and then take that left leg long, flexing the left foot. Take an inhale as you exhale, squeeze that right knee in towards the right armpit and then let's extend that away and then swap it over. Bring the left knee in, pressing down through the back of the right thigh, draw that left knee in towards the left armpit, flexing both feet, take an inhale, Exhale, squeeze it in, and then releasing that all the way long. Bringing the knees in towards the chest, hands behind the thighs. And we're gonna rock ourselves up and down a couple of times. You're just taking an inhale as you exhale, curving the spine as much as you can, letting the chin tuck in. Just curling yourself into a really little ball. And the next time you come up, crossing the legs, and then make your way into your tabletop position. So wrists underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, crown of the head reaching forward. Drop the belly down, open through the collared bones and lift the eyes, inhaling. And then as you exhale, C curve the spine. So tucking the chin in, press down through the tops of the feet and then inhale to open the collar bones up, lifting the eyes and then exhale. Just one more time, inhaling. And exhale. And this time, we're going to drop the belly down, open through the collarbones. Inhale, tuck the toes under and press back into your down facing dog. And then tapping the knees down very lightly, open through the collarbones, take an inhale, and then exhale back into your down facing dog once again. Let's do that a couple more times. Tapping the knees down, open through the collarbones. Inhale, and then exhale down facing dog. Press down through the inside edges of the hands and then we'll go last time tapping the knees down, open through the collarbones, inhale, exhale, down dog. I'm just taking a breath here in your down dog. You could keep the knees slightly bent here if this is too strong for your legs. If you've got the space try to draw the quadriceps up. Deep easy breaths. In, in and out through the nose. Lift the heels up and then just swiveling on the balls of the feet, take the heels over to the right hand side and then try to press down through the outside of the left foot and inside edge of the right foot. Trying to open up that left side body. Keep pressing evenly through both hands. And then take an inhale, swiveling onto the balls of the feet through the center and then over to the left. This time pressing down through the outside of the right foot, inside of the left foot. And then inhale, coming back through center. And then start to walk the hands back towards the feet. Heels relaxing down. Bend the knees here as much as you need to, so don't lock out through the knees. Let the head relax down. So two different options here. You could take hold of your elbows or your forearms. If you'd like something just a little bit stronger, interlace the fingers at the base of the head. And we're just letting the weight of the hands draw the, the head down lengthening out through the entire spinal column. So easy breaths. Any forward folds, so it's a beautiful way to just Activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps the whole body relax. And then releasing those hands down, walk your hands back out into your down facing dog. Taking one more inhale. As you exhale, bring the knees down and just have them just a little bit wider than the torso, big toes together, sitting back towards the heels. And bringing the index finger and thumbs to lightly touch. Rest the head down. You could rest your forehead on your hands if that's more comfortable. I'm just going to take another few moments here. And we're going to end the practice here. And if you can stay for a a little bit longer than please do otherwise thank you so much for joining me 
Enjoy the rest of your day or evening. Namaste.